All right, everyone, new truck week. Just picked it up from detail where I also got my front windows tinted as well as put a eyebrow on it. I've got some suspension coming, so it's not gonna look like this for very long, but I wanted to do a quick review of the brand new 2024 GMC Denali HD Ultimate with the Duramax. Uh, so far, so good. You know, I'm coming off of a Dodge 2021 Ram Limited uh, that I really liked a lot. But uh, with this new truck coming out, I really wanted to give it a shot. I had a GMC 2500 or Chevy 2500 LTZ a long time ago. Uh, I liked that truck. Obviously, they redid the interior of this truck. Uh, and that was what really drew me to it. Plus the new Duramax with the Allison uh, really does drive like a dream. The power uh, is definitely noticeable uh, from my Ram 2500 Limited to this thing. Uh, and once we get into the interior, they definitely, at least I will say, caught up to Ram. I think there's still a few things that I'll try and mention that Ram still does better than GMC. But the things that this includes with it like the massage seats, the heads up display, uh, a few other things, the multi pro tailgate. I did get the kicker system in mind, which is not too bad. The actual functional, you know, uh, hood scoop, uh, and obviously the 975 pound feet of torque and 475 horsepower, uh, definitely was a draw. Uh, this is obviously something I'm digging. I do wish. They had like Ram, at least on the limited, the no cap diesel. Uh, do like the step there. Everything else in the rear is pretty much the same from a tailgate perspective. This does have that little sissy bar to help you get up. Uh, I'm getting old, so I do kind of appreciate it. This is a cool, you know, concept for keeping things locked in. I'm sliding back uh, and there's my kicker sound system setup which again is not too bad i do a lot of camping chilling out behind the truck uh, hopefully that comes in handy i do like all the blacked out stuff with the gmc logo and the vader chrome grill i uh, never had a car with the sequential you know turn signals that's pretty cool not complaining about that I'll uh, give you another quick look. The mirrors are pretty good. Um, I'd say Rams got them beat on the mirrors. On Rams, you can actually uh, electronically adjust that lower uh, portion there. I do like how they slide out, but when you slide them out to trailer mode, you can do that automatically with the GMC. They start to get real bumpy. So that's another little zonk I'll give on them. Um, other than that, yeah, the sequential lights in the front are pretty sick. The Denali HD grills pretty sick. I don't mind the little touches of chrome. I actually think it balances it pretty good. Some people complain about that. Uh, the ultimate badge there. And then I guess we can go ahead and take a look at the inside. First, though, I do want to shout out Beck and Mastin at a Coastal Bend. I called about eight dealerships trying to get this truck. wasn't really like I didn't need it, but I wanted it. Um, nobody had it. All the vehicles in transit were spoken for, uh, but I said, let me try one more dealer. A little coastal town just outside of Corpus Christi, Robstown, Texas. Uh, they have this thing sitting on their lot, and I drove down there immediately to go get it. Shout out to Melanie. Shout out to uh, the whole department there, or the whole team there. They were all very friendly. The sense of urgency. Uh, was high because I knew this thing wasn't gonna last long and they were able to secure it for me. Let's take a look inside the truck. Obviously, the new interior is really nice. I will say the seats in the Ram Limited are a little bit more comfortable, uh, although they don't offer the massage settings. I don't know, it's debatable. Nice compartment there, glove box, pretty comparable. I will say on this car, I do like the shifter here, but when you put it into drive and you're trying to access your screens, it really is kind of a design flaw in my opinion. Um, 
why did they make this so in the way? Like when I want to get to the volume knob or get to the screen, I have to go under or over and it makes, you know, my fingers don't bend, you know, that way. So it makes it hard to access the keys. Uh, other than that, you know, displays, you know, for a digital setup, to be honest, you know, it's underwhelming. It's a little small. I almost prefer my analog gauges in my Ram 2500 with the just center digital thing. Uh, but I'm getting used to it. It's pretty cool. No big deal. Again, the steering wheel, I feel like this is a big downgrade for me. You know, the Ram Limited uh, really has a nice steering wheel with the wood grain here and then on the bottom with the leather accents. Uh, it's also thicker and beefier. Uh, the heads-up display, again, you know, makes up for it. The massage seats make up for it. The engine, the way this thing drives makes up for it. The 13-inch uh, whatever display, pretty good. I like it. I like how you can split it up uh, similar to how you can in the Ram. Cool start-stop button. I definitely don't have any issue with this stuff. All really good. I definitely think the phone charger is a big improvement. The center console, I'd say, is a downgrade. I liked how the Ram had the double console where you would click it and then just half of it would open or you click it a different way and then the full thing would open. This just has this little cheap tray. No, uh, no uh, Easter eggs like in the Ram. Nothing cool under here. So I think the uh, people over at GMC are definitely not as cool from a designer personality. Um, the topography on the stitching or on the door panels, the Bose sound system. Again, it's not bad, but it's a kind of a downgrade compared to the Ram 2500 limited 17 speaker setup. Back seat, you've seen plenty of reviews on this truck already. I'm just trying to give a, a little bit different perspective, owner perspective, obviously nobody's paying me. Uh, the other big zonk, I already mentioned the whole like accessing the display whenever you're driving and you've got it in gear. Uh, but I've noticed on like the smaller trucks, they've got these vents underneath the screen. If they would have just lifted this, raised this up and put the vents under here. They really would have hit a home run with the interior on this. Uh, the Alcantara roof, really nice. Does give it a nice touch. Um, really nice all weather floor mats. Door panels are really nice. Can't say enough good things about this truck. Uh, all the things that it does best uh, or really well or has that the Ram doesn't have do definitely make up for you know, the things that I do miss about the Ram or that I think Ram does a little bit better. Um, looking forward to see what Ram is going to do about this truck because obviously they've now caught up at least I think uh, and are competing on the interior. Uh, obviously the engine, horsepower, torque. Uh, Obviously those are preference things, but I'm hoping I have no issues with mine like I did with my, or the same as I did with my Ram 2500, but that's all I'll show for today. Obviously you got your digital, rear view, OnStar, all that good stuff. Oh, key fob as well, way cheap compared to the Ram Limited. There's nothing on here that signifies Ultimate or you bought the baddest truck that GMC offers. It's the same shit as anything else. Um, cup holders, this was a big plus for me. I only drink this kind of water in these liter sizes. Usually, actually fit really well in here, that square design. So, uh, might have made a life out of me just for that. All the light setups, really nice. Obviously, you have that really cool thing. The plate shows the Denali coordinates. Uh, if you have any questions about the truck or my opinion about something, let me know. I will say the ride on this truck it's pretty nice in the city. When you get on the highway, if you ever get onto any bumpy stretch of highway, man, this thing just bounces around in the back like it's on a pogo stick. So hopefully the suspension setup that I got will be much improved. I'll do another review once I get it all set up. I'm uh, just going with some 18 method uh, 315 tires, or wheels, excuse me. Uh, and then gonna do some uh, Falcon uh, tires, but I'll get that all updated for you guys whenever uh, I get it done. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.